Hi, I'm Lily Clark. I'm an equine sports therapist and rehabilitation specialist. I hope you enjoy today's video on painted skeletal anatomy. Our modern horse's skeletal systems are put to great force. This can increase the risk of osteoarthritis and joint damage. This video will show the horse's skeletal system in locomotion or movement in order to understand how we can reduce the stress on joints. The spine, otherwise known as the vertebral column, consists of the bones of the neck, withers, back and tail. This structure contains the nerves which are attached to the brain and spinal cord. In the diagram you can see that the horse has 7 cervical vertebrae, 18 thoracic vertebrae which each support a pair of ribs, 6 lumbar vertebrae, a sacrum with 5 fused or welded together bones and approximately 18 coccygeal vertebrae. All of the bones involved have a very important function. The head and neck are highly flexible and the tail too is highly mobile. However, its weakness is that parts of the spine are highly inflexible, capable of very slight movement. You can see that from the painted horse that the scapula may be directly affected by saddle fit. When the horse moves, you can see that the shoulder rotates and so it must have freedom of movement, otherwise the saddle can cause irreversible damage to the shoulder. Pay close attention to the engagement of the hind limbs and how well they track up the stride length and how it changes, movement in the spine and how it becomes more hollow with different head and neck positions. Horses ridden and worked in a hollow frame with a high head and neck carriage can be more likely to develop long-term problems that may lead to kissing spines in the future. This does not mean that you need to pull your horse's head down because this can create a false contact and lead to even more issues. Allowing your horse to use his head and neck to balance can be a great benefit. It allows back muscles to develop good balance, which is essential for movement. At first they may find this difficult, but frequent transitions can help. Pole work improves stride quality, increases range of movement, improves proprioception or hoof-eye coordination, creates mental discipline or active thinking, and recruits essential muscle groups for core stability. It also causes automatic speed control or alters, alters the horse's speed. It also improves physical balance and symmetry. Raised poles increase suspension and joint range of movement, which is great for creating healthier joints. Show jumping horses need stability when landing and turning, but these are super athletes who also need great ability to perform. Horses with more flexibility and agility can regain balance more efficiently.
thank you for watching today's video on skeletal anatomy. Thank you also to Carrie, the superstar model, and a special thanks to Faye and Tilly Gaunt for all the help. See you next time.